War Thunder. Yes, friends. Today we will see the best Nvidia control settings for the game, namely War Thunder. Just follow the on-screen process to complete the best graphic settings for the massively multiplayer online game in War Thunder. Before we move to the Nvidia control panel settings, just open up your game and then go to your search bar and search Nvidia control panel settings. Select Nvidia control panel and then you will launch into the settings part. Under manage 3D settings, you will see this program settings. Just open up this tab. Under this tab, go to number 1 where you will see this add button. Just click on that and select Gajin Smart Launcher. That's the launcher part. That's the game itself. After you have selected this launcher, you have to go to the option 2 and from here select high performance NVIDIA processor. Once you are done with that, you move to the option number 3 and uh, here you have to find out CUDA GPU here select all and then move down and low latency mode here you have to set it to ultra then we move further down and here you have to open GDI compatibility here you have to select auto and then move down here you will see open GL rendering GPU here you have to select NVIDIA GeForce GTS or whatever depending on the NVIDIA GeForce GTS graphics card select your graphics card here and then under power management mode you have to prefer maximum performance here and select the apply button down below once you are done with the settings now you can close your game as well and we will try to restart this game ok so let's restart the game by searching War Thunder and let's open up yeah once the game is launched just start the play button and then yeah the once the game is launched you will see this GeForce experience here you can also record your gameplay and it also means that the GeForce is now activated for this game ok so just allow all the permission and then move further once you see this NVIDIA GeForce experience overlay, you can be rest assured that the game has been launched with correct NVIDIA control panel settings. Yeah, and it's all done and uh, now you can start playing your game by logging into your account or you can create a new account for yourself and start playing the game. Hope the video was clear to you and if you have any query, you can let me know through the comments. We will see you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy gaming.